Good evening, this is Zola Majahu, the PSL prosecutor. I hereby confirm that earlier today, Jomo Cosmos Football Club appeared before the DC as a complainant uh, in allegations pertaining to Hungry Labs Football Club as well as the player Mr. Tepo Mokana on the allegation that uh, the player was improperly registered and thus a defaulter in respect of various matches in which he was fielded during the current season. Yeah. Having reflected on the documentation which we as a league provided to the complainant, Jomo Cosmos elected to withdraw its complaint. Such withdrawal was formalized before the DC and on behalf of the league I accepted the withdrawal and so did the first and second respondents. And over and above that, the DC of the league made the following order. One, that the complaint is formally withdrawn. Two, Jomo Cosmos is directed to make a formal public apology directed at Hungry Lions and most importantly, Mr. Tsepo Austin Motala. Three, Jomo Cosmos was further directed to pay an agreed amount in respect of the party's cost in the amount of 150,000 rand, which is payable within 25 days reckoned from today. Jomo Cosmos was further ordered to pay the usual costs of the sitting, which costs would be administratively computed and deducted by the league. And over and above that, the complainant as well as the first and second respondents were directed by the DC to refrain from making any further public commentary on this matter, except that the league would be allowed to use to issue its usual media release, only communicating the outcome, which is exactly what we are doing. We are gathered here today now to confirm that public apology so that the player can be vindicated. It is acknowledged that the responsibility of the DC is also to correct behavior and not to condemn youngsters, especially where there is no proper basis to do so. I will now hand over to Mr. Chair Jacobs, who is the legal representative of Jomo Cosmos, to give that public apology. Over to you, Chair. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. Uh, thank you, colleagues. Um, as was co correctly communicated by the prosecutor, um, on behalf of Jomo Cosmos, we hereby issue a formal apology to Hungry Lions Football Club and to mainly to Mr. Sepul Mokala, the second respondent, and we wish them all the best for the upcoming 2023, 2022 23 uh, season. And uh, Mr. Mokala, you have over to you, Ms. Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. We confirm the contents of what the prosecutor has conveyed to the public regarding the matter that was before the DC panel. We also wish to convey the gratitude of the prosecutor in the handling of this matter and also accept the apology of Jomo Cosmos with regards to the complaint filed on behalf of the club and Reliance at Temple Mashana. We believe that the player has been vindicated and that it's gone a long way to correcting any harm that may have been suffered before. So thank you. From the Hungry Lions, we accept the apology from Jomo Cosmos. Thank you. Very well then. This settles the matter, Mr. Masala. Uh, all the best. And I can therefore confirm that this is the end of this matter. The league has now formally come to an end, and there will be no further cases emanating from this particular matter. Thank you very much. This is the end of the release. Hi, everybody. My name is the Sobre Voice Juan Fratzi from the Big R or TBR Solution. Uh, one of the companies owned by TBR Solution is the Big R Financial Services, an authorized financial service provider. I'm sure you have noticed that uh, the past few months or so, we've seen a lot of deaths, and those deaths are attributed to mental illness. Mental illness can be caused by anything, can be caused by stress, depression 
and stress and depression can be caused by a number of things, lack of finances or financial problem or social problem or marital problem. So they cause all those problems. Um, we, in the financial sector, we see it almost now and again because uh, we work with various organizations like GBF, independent fund organization. But while I'm still there, let me stress, we don't have a formal relationship with GBF, but we work with them because most of our people are from there. Now, working with those people, you know very well that uh, people who are working for the government, they're expected to retire at the age of 60 and above, right? If you retire earlier than that, then you are being penalized by GPF. And sometimes people say, no, I need money. So what do they do? They resign. They say, no, let the money go to my bank account. Once you do that, you are tax heavy. So you need to bear that in mind, okay? But now, let's say for argument's sake, you are 55 as we speak and above, and you are contemplating of either resigning or going on pension in the next three months or so, just drop us a WhatsApp so that we help you to expedite for your payment. Because according to the GPF rules and, and, and pension fund law, once a client or a member receive an SMS that they have received your forms, that means they have 60 days to complete the process. And mind you, the 60 days is a maximum. It doesn't mean it has to take 60 days. It's a maximum. Now, sometimes we see people, they don't get their money for two to three, four, five months, six months, even more, or a year or so. And then there, the problem could emanate either from the GPF side, employer side, a, a member himself. So what do we do? We try to expedite that, that process by making sure that we understand the, working, the workings of GPF. If it's a member, we help him to do the right thing. The same with GPF, the same with uh, employer organization. Now, remember, as I have already said, that with GPF, it's 60 and above. Now, and then we say, if you're 55 or more, you can contact us. And another good element is this, with the fund that we are working with, you, there is a whole lot of flexibility. You can decide how much you earn. That's how flexible it is. And if let's say you pass on, you and your spouse, uh, you can nominate anyone. You are not limited to your immediate family, like your biological children or an officially adopted children. Remember, even your children, they can benefit uh, as long as they're 22 and below. But with us, it doesn't matter. They can be above 22, they can be your, your elders, or they will still benefit because you nominated them. And then um, we try by all means that when we take the money from GPF and invest with credible fund organization, we try by all means that you are list text, all right? And then, uh, and even uh, uh, you are not punished because you are not taking the money because you are taking to another fund. So which means an independent and credible fund. So it means that uh, um, there's no need to tax you more. So those are some of the advantages that are there. So you need to bear that in mind. And then if you want to know more, just drop us a WhatsApp on our WhatsApp number. Then we'll call you back. You don't have to call us. We'll call you back and see how can we expedite it. I thank you.